Hi, I'm Mike Mayer, and I'm here to tell you it's important to read beyond the headline and read the actual story, check the sources, and understand who is talking to you. So I want to take a look at this article I've seen, lots of different versions circulating, and it's about Starbucks. So here's one version of it. Starbucks crashes and burns after it pledged to hire 10,000 refugees. And we can see here another version of that same story. Starbucks sales plunge after announcing they'll hire 10,000 refugees. And if we click on the article to see what it actually says, the first thing I want to point out to you is at the very end of the story, there's a correction, which states a previous version of this article incorrectly stated that Starbucks sales had suffered. So in fact, what they're saying to you there is that the title of the story is incorrect. The entire title is not correct. That's right. And let's take a look at what actually did plunge. Because the other versions of this article said popularity, plunges and so on. So we can see here in the actual article, it says the coffee giant's consumer perception levels have fallen by two thirds. And again, what, is, what does that mean? You actually don't have to look very far in the article it explains what that is. It says the perception tracker measures if respondents of the survey have heard anything about the brand in the past two weeks through advertising, news or word of mouth was it positive or negative? It also says that Starbucks perception is still overall positive. So what has actually happened is for respondents of this survey, in the past two weeks, they have heard fewer things about the company through news or word of mouth, positive things or negative things. So all that's really happened is in the past few weeks, people have heard less about Starbucks, good or bad, than they had in previous time periods. That's it. These headlines would make you believe something quite other than people have heard less about this company. That's it. So I just want to leave you with a reminder, check your sources, read the article, read beyond the headline, and remember that people lie.